Hey everyone, it's Nick with RadV Detection. I just want to do a quick update on how to do a CDV700 mod with the RadV Detector. Um, so I have a, a CDV right here I bought off eBay. Um, it was not working and uh, I haven't opened it yet, so I have no clue what's in here. So hopefully this is pretty um, similar to what you all will experience assembling these boards. So let's get right into it. So first up, we go ahead and pull our probe off here. And while I'm doing all this, I'd uh, make sure to keep everything here that comes with these. Yeah, look at that. Too cool. All right, so um, this one is a bit different than mine was originally, but it looks like we have four screws here. So let's go ahead and get those out. Let's see here. One of them's already out for us. Let's see here. So you can see there, now we can remove that. All right, and be careful not to break any wires unnecessarily. So we have our gauge right up here. So we can go ahead and actually pull these wires off. So from the side that's soldered, not the um, wire lug, I guess is what it would be called. You can go ahead and wiggle that back and forth. It'll pop off and same. So there's another one on the other underside. We'll pull that one off in a second. We also need to remove the screws from the uh, switch here. So as you can see, there's a little screw right there. Uh, your CDV might have two, so there's another one on top there. So we're going to go ahead and pull those off so we can pull the board out. And we can pull that switch off and make sure not to lose that. And definitely don't lose those little screws. So now we should be able to kind of start working the board out if everything is done. So yeah, I'm just pushing on the shaft there, and you can see it popped out. Be careful, there are some, some glass components in here, some fragile stuff. I'm just going to wiggle it out back and forth. So you can see now that we actually have our... Uh, we have some wires connected still, um, so we're going to disconnect the ga uh, gauge wire over here, and then we also have a speaker wire here. Go ahead and cut the speaker wire. So there are all your internals. You can go ahead and set those to the side. Record again, okay? All right, next up, you will need your CDV700 uh, Model 5 uh, Rad View board here. So just a quick overview, we have our selector switch on the back. We have a lithium-ion battery right here. Uh, we have a microcontroller. Your RadView plugs are right here and right here. There's two of them. Um, these little green guys here are screw blocks or screw terminals. You can use those to attach your own peripherals. Uh, you can see that one right there has the CDV gauge on it. That has a light bulb. Uh, then we have a switch spot right here if you want to add your own switch and do whatever you want with it. Uh, speaker and haptics. So to add this on, we're going to go ahead and... Um, take our CDV like this, and we can go ahead and pull out this wire if you're going to use um, an internal probe, which I am. So let me undo that real quick. All right, now we have that plug out. Okay, so next up, um, we'll go ahead and insert this board. So we can orient the microcontroller uh, to the left of the CDV, like this. Uh, and we can go ahead and kind of start to wiggle it through, and you can see the holes line up here. So with that, we want to go ahead and add our spacers. So if your CDV came with spacers, these will probably work. Um, but I know for a fact, the ones I included work, which are these little plastic ones here. So you want to put a spacer down and then drop your screw through. Um, and you can just hand tighten them a little bit for now. So I'm going to go through all four corners and do that. And we can go ahead and tighten those up. Don't wrench them down, just snug. So there we are. We have that all in now. Um, next, I guess we can work on our switch real quick. So you want to make sure with the switch, it's a little tricky, um, to get it lined up right, but we want this, the flat part here pointing towards off. So when you turn it, you're turning it on. Um, so flat side towards off and we can set our switch over here, right on top. And you want to hold it down, uh, in the correct direction and tighten your screws. There you go. So next we need to wire up our gauge. So for the gauge, um, you need a pair of wire strippers. Uh, you could use like nail clippers too. Um, just anything to just get the cable sheathing off here. And we don't need a lot, we just need a little bit. And then check on your gauge for a plus and minus side. This one has its, it's backwards from mine. So I wanna make sure, yeah. So this one actually uh, did it backwards. They. Uh, <laughs> Like yellow is kind of a more positive color than blue. Usually blue would be considered negative. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these around. There's a plus side right there on the gauge. 
So I'm just making sure these are in the correct orientation so I don't confuse myself. All right, and if you can get those wires kind of over to this side, this is where the gauge is. So um, the gauge connector, the gauge uh, terminal blocks, we're gonna go ahead and loosen those up a little bit. Let's back out those screws. Uh, and then our positive side here, whatever color wire you have coming out of the plus, go ahead and just wrap that wire around itself a little bit there so we have it tightened up. And you're gonna go into the plus of this, which is the bottom screw. Um, and you can kind of look where you're uh, placing the wire at, so that way you make sure it's all the way in. And then we can go ahead and screw that down. And same with this one, so just twist those wires together. And we're gonna kinda make sure it goes in the right spot. We can actually check to make sure it works. So right when you turn on um, the rad view board here, you can actually see, uh, it'll show the battery percentage on the gauge. So if we go from off to on, you can see there, and we're almost at 100%, and then it goes back down. So go ahead and turn it back off. So now we can add our rad view. So with the rad view, you'll have a rad view capsule. Uh, if you order a rad view, go ahead and unscrew the bottom of it. You'll see there's some wires in there and unscrew the top of it as well. So you can go ahead and just pull this out like that. And then you wanna push the rad view out just like that. So it's an internal capsule. On the bottom of it here, it has um, a four pin connector right there. And so included in your kit will be an extension wire here. So you're gonna go ahead and plug that in. I won't let you plug it in in the wrong orientation. So if it feels like it's too hard to press in, uh, you know, don't break it, just try flipping it. And then you can pick either one of your rad view ports, um, rad view two or rad view one right here. So I'm just gonna go into rad view one. Uh, and this is the internal setup. You can also do an external setup and I'll show you some of those details here in a second. So once we're plugged in like that, we can go ahead and turn it on and it'll show our battery right now. And then you can hear the clicks. And if we go to something like X10 mode, you can see the gauge is going up. So it takes a 15 second background uh, and then it subtracts that background from the count rate so you don't hear it anymore. Um, and I actually have a cesium source nearby so we can demonstrate that. So now the background is subtracted. So the, uh, the equipment's still running with the background subtracted. So if we get a cesium source close here, you can see how it works. Um, we also have an LED uh, right there blinking. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it actually ends up showing up through the gauge. Um, and then we also have haptics. So once you max out X100 mode, uh, you actually get uh, vibration haptics and an alarm. Awesome. Uh, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and turn it off. And we can just drop it all in. If you wanna use double-sided tape, I would recommend doing that. I have some double-sided tape, but I'm just gonna set it in there for now. Uh, we can close it all up like that uh, and lock it up. And there you go, you're all done. So we can go ahead and power it on. It'll show us our battery percentage. It starts taking backgrounds and you can hear it clicking. If you want the clicks to be louder, remove that and the sound will actually come through there. And I'm sure you could also wire in uh, your headphones to actually work with that. Um, the screw blocks are open. So you can hear now, background is subtracted and now we can use the CDV Just like we normally would, sorry. So yeah, if you mount that sensor in there, you'll have an easier time uh, knowing where it's mounted at. Um, but yeah, that's the whole project. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to just uh, DM me, shoot me an email. I will see you all in the next one.